Good morning everyone. Very early morning I mean. So it is 5 a.m. in the morning right now and we're in a place called Agra which is where the Taj Mahal is. So in today's video we wanted to show you what the Taj Mahal is like at 6 a.m. which is the opening time. We're going at that time obviously to beat the crowds and um, yeah for it to just be a more relaxing experience I guess. I think so anyway. We'll find out how, how crowded it is at uh, 6 a.m. I'll show you quickly where we're staying so got this spot here it's called Lucky Restaurant and Guest House and this was eleven dollars um, it's convenient because it's only two minutes away walking so really close and yeah it has a restaurant as well so that's also convenient so like I said um, we're gonna be heading out here soon it's just a two minute walk so we don't really have to leave right now and uh, yeah we'll see what the Taj Mahal is like So we have finally entered. We're actually entering at 6.30 that you saw back there in the images. There was already a big queue. So if you want to get in 6 a.m., you probably have to get here around like 5 or 5.20, something like that, because yeah, there's so many people. And the ticket that we got is 1,300. It's the inside ticket. I think if you get the ticket just for the outside, 1,100. So for 200 difference, I think it's going to be definitely worth it. So yeah, finally heading in. So first we're approaching what is called the Great Gate. That is the main entrance. And I read that that's made from redstone and marble. Really impressive. I think we beat the crowds. Not really. <laughs> I, I can't actually believe how packed it is at this time. Yeah, it's crazy. I think people might be get here at 4.30 or something. It's yeah. not possible. It's like crowded already. Yeah, I literally cannot imagine how this place must be later on in the day. It must just be, yeah, just insane. But we're approaching the palace now. Um, yeah, it does look awesome. So just a bit of history about this place. It was commissioned in 1632 by the Mughal Emperor called Shah Jahan, which is actually the same guy that commissioned the Red Fort in Delhi that we, that we visited on our first day. And it was for his favorite wife. I think he had multiple wives, as it is the tomb for yeah, when she died. So yeah, he commissioned this place for her. Uh, I guess he must have liked her a lot. So I didn't mention before that with the ticket we also got free water and uh, these shoe covers right here. You gotta wear the shoe covers like everyone else to, to go up there. So that's where we're gonna head now. went inside there you can't uh, take video or photograph or anything but it basically had the tomb of the wife and it also had his tomb uh, I heard a guy another guide say that he died 35 years later so yeah both of the tombs were in there it looked pretty cool but look at this 
So this area where I'm at now, you'll only be able to go in if you get the inside ticket as well. So definitely worth it because you can see the details a lot better, get close up. If you don't have the inside ticket though, you can still walk around down here though. See back here, there's just loads of epic buildings as well, surrounded. Here's more peaceful, right? <laughs> A little bit. A little bit, yeah. And you can see behind me there, that is the Yamuna River. The pollution actually creates a bit more of like a mysterious, mystical, spiritual vibe, I guess. That's pretty funny. Is that a boat down there? Say hello. Hello. <laughs> All right, good. Thanks. Where are you guys from? I want to begin this uh, north on this. Oh, from that. Where are you from? Uh, I'm from uh, India, Madhya Pradesh. Where is that? South or? Uh, in, it is in uh, Middle East. Middle East. Middle East. You too? Okay. Yeah. She's my wife. Okay. Uh, I'm from England. She's from Brazil. Brazil. Okay. Yeah. Nice couple. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You too. So we've been walking around I think for about two hours now. I think like two hours is a, a good amount of time if you come here. Took a few selfies with uh, locals. And yeah, you can just walk around, loads of good views. Check this out. So that's an epic view right, right there right now with the, with the sun hitting it. And it's actually not that busy. It seems to still be the same as when we entered. So I thought it would get a lot more busier later on, but yeah, it seems fine at the moment. And on Wikipedia, I actually read some pretty crazy facts, so check this out. So the estimated cost at the time was around 32 million rupees, which is the equivalent to $827 million now. So this would have cost $827 million to make, but back then in the 1600s, <laughs> yeah, just insane. No, thank you. No, we're good, thanks. No, we're good, thank you. Marble boxes. We're, o we're okay. 20 rupees for this one. So we've come back to our hotel. We're at the restaurant on the top of the roof. Just see here, empty at the moment, only us. It's called Lucky Cafe, and I'll just show you the prices and what we're gonna eat. Carol stole my shirt. <laughs> so they actually have loads of, of food here, you can see. And this time I'm going for this uh, Shahi Paneer. Never eaten that before, 160. And I got two plain chapatis, so that will be 10 overall. And I also got the plain rice, 60. What did you order, Carol? Uh, pancakes, banana pancakes. How much is that? 80. 80? Cheese omelette, 70 rupees. Just to show you how convenient the location is, check this view out. 
So outside of the window here, there you can see the Taj Mahal in the distance. And over there, the, the Great Gate. So really close. Here is all the, the food here. Carol's omelette, pancakes. This is the food I've never seen before. So I think it has like cheesy blocks. I'm not sure. Seems to have something else on top, like cream. I'm not sure what that is either. Yeah, so this Shahi Paneer, I think it's gonna be one of my favorites. I basically asked for something that's not spicy because I'm not really used to eating spicy food all the time. So he said it's sweet and um, yeah, it definitely is sweet. Uh, never had a meal like that before, like sweet cheese. Yeah, I need to search what's in it because it's really tasty. It cost us around 80 rupees to get here in a in a tuk-tuk. We just gotta wait for about two hours now here and we're gonna be heading to a place called Jaipur which is about four hours from here so yeah that's where all the next video is gonna be coming from and before I sign out I just want to say that Carol is actually gonna be creating a channel. It's gonna be more about like travel tips and stuff but it's gonna be in Portuguese so I'm gonna link her channel below. Even if you just subscribe if you don't understand Portuguese, obviously, if you just subscribe, it will help a lot because you need like around thousand subscribers to start earning money on YouTube. So, yeah, any subs will help us anyway, and that will be hopefully another income. And yeah, it'll be cool because she's got some good ideas and tips for mainly Brazilians, right? But yeah, she's gonna start her own channel. Yeah, so like I said, the next videos will be from Jaipur, so stick around for that. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.